Swifty, and welcome back to Life is Strange. So last time, poor Max, our reluctant heroine, discovered that she has time travel abilities, and she actually saw a girl get shot in the school bathroom. So we need to get our butts over there and try to save her. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh my god, get out of my way. Do, 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 do. I really gotta pee. That's why I'm running like a weirdo. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Yeah, you went to the I sink. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Yep. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Browser, it's happening. I need a hammer to break it open. Hammer. You're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit. shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, no, no. I can help her. Oh. No. Oh. Where would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh shit. Oh. Trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Oh, I've already got the damn hammer. Damn it. I need a hammer to break it open. Okay, this is not going well. Ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, for God's sake. Shit! No. No, 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 no! Oh, for God's sake. Max, rewind now! Yeah, I'm working on it. Let's rewind all the way so I have more time. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to get no way. Don't there. Ever touch me again. Finally. Freak. Sweet. Saved your life. Oh shit, he's gonna see my picture. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. All right, hopefully he doesn't see me leave. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Thanks, Principal. You totally have my back there. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. Really? You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh, report Nathan or hide the truth. Oh shit, this is an important decision. I can tell because it's in all caps. Oh, if I report him, will he come after me? Uh, he had a gun in a school, but his parents like own the school. So I feel like he's not going to get... I don't think reporting him will do anything. Like, his family's too friggin' powerful. So I think I'm gonna hide the truth. 
Oh, this is probably the wrong decision, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. Shit. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. All right, yeah, let's change I that. I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area, okay? Oh, shift to make it go faster. There we go. You look a little stressed out. All right, let's report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And one of Blackwell's most honored Told students. Told you they wouldn't do anything. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office please go outside with the rest of your class now miss caulfield of course this academic drone won't do anything since the prescott family owns blackwell now should i rewind and change my story no because then you get in trouble all right we'll go with this oh the mouse button i don't know if that was the right choice i just i don't like conflict <laughs> I'm gonna obsess over all my choices in this freaking game. Looks like a college campus. Cool. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. More missing persons. And hi, Miss Grant. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Ms. Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Uh, sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Oh, that's crazy. It could have helped Rachel. David Madsen. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily have helped Rachel unless she was, like, snatched off the campus. I mean, she could have willingly gotten to the car with somebody. And, you know, we don't know what happened there. All missing... Oh, is that a drone flying around behind me? That's cool. Um, yeah, like, all missing person cases are like people getting snatched so i don't think it really would have helped i don't know what the david madsen thing is but i'm gonna say that's crazy that's crazy i get why school should be on high alert these days but cameras in the dorm rooms it's a slippery slope and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here blackwell academy has a noble heritage from the native americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace not fear and violence the drone is distracting me. Blackwell's that old, or you, the Native Americans, or you know a lot. Uh, 
I'm gonna say you know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Sure. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. All right. This action will have consequences. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, can sit on the fountain. Sure. Is this gonna cue a cutscene? This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast, and none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. All right. It's kind of neat. Can I kind of have like an introspective moment? Uh, is there anybody else? One tab journal. Uh, hi, Max. Uh, sorry, I'm running late in same day. I'll meet you at the lot looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. Hold on. Let's go up. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study, please. Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, man, Max. Let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> Don't ignore this message. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. I'll see you shortly. I hope so. Cool. Aw. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're not out now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Aw. Kate. Hey, Max. You around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. Free after four. Talk to you later. Okay. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. All right. Where's your freaking dorm? Fresh tab to open journal. Oh, there's the selfie I took in class. Objective, I need to go to my room to get Warren's flash drive. I feel so shitty. I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be low and wash my face after that nightmare day morning. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in. And right when I took a picture of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in. They started arguing about drugs and money. And Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind. I found myself right back in my class at, class at my desk. I thought I'd been dosed with some kind of drug. I was able to rewind time. You know, the only way to find out was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again. Then the girl came in before Matthew, Nathan could shoot her. I smashed to open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory. Till I got grilled by the security chief who thinks they struck Norris. Uh, I was so glad when Principal Wells shooed him away. Then I made the possibly failed decision to inform Principal Wells I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. Uh, he didn't want to believe me. Uh, not all those who wander are lost. That's one of my favorite quotes. So many of the school days started with an apocalyptic dream that ended with me saving a life. Okay. That's it. Alright, uh, I don't know where the dorms are. Is that the dorm over there? Maybe. Alright, shift run, right? Yeah, there we go. And parking, swimming pool. There's actually signs that I should look at. Main building. Dormitories. Okay, so it is over here. Alright. Hey, ladies. Okay. Come on, 
come, Logan. Bring it, bro. Bring it, bro. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah. Oh, she's in my class. I really like her hair. Right. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? It's disturbing. Hey, person from my class. Alyssa. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Well, then you should talk to her. Oh. Hi, Max. Hmm. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. Yeah. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, okay. I guess you Oh, shit. Bitches are blocking the doorway. God damn it. Oh, Kate's over there. Let's go say hi to Kate. I like Kate. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Oh, the totem pole over there is cool. Hi, Kate. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Oh, don't be sad. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You uh, look down. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Nice, bro. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Okay. Awesome. Let's go talk to the bitches. She got her whole frickin' posse there. Ugh. I don't want to talk to her. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Can't you just walk Since around? You know all the answers. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Ugh. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Mm, what can I fuck with? The sprinklers just came on. Can I talk to either of these bozos? No. Can I talk to Alyssa again? Oh, what's on the tree there? Rachel owes me money, pay up, bitch. That Rachel Amber, the chick who disappeared? Okay, I can't actually... Oh wait, this seems like something that is Do you understand happen. English? Get lost! I'll let you shut up. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Mm. Sprinkler. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay. Or I could do something with that. Awesome. Uh. None shall pass. Capiche? Yeah, yeah, shut up. There's the sprinkler control system thingy. I don't see it. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, that looks like it. Or that looks like a way nice. up. Oh, sweet. Anything I can mess with in here? There we go. Whoa. I need to figure this out. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Okay. So why can't I use this it? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. So what? I gotta like rewind all the way. I 
Why can't I interact with it? Valve looks easy yes, I use. know. Why don't you actually turn it, you dumb, dumb person? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Oh, God. I must have missed something. Yeah, I'm aware. I should rewind. Let's tamper with the bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm, a paint bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Alright, let's see if this works. Though he hangs it there, that's nowhere near her. Yeah. Hmm. What the hell did I do with it anyway? Is it gonna break? Yep. Close, but no uh. cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Okay. Hey. So, I need to tamper with the bucket and then turn off the sprinklers, right? So, tamper with the bucket. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Now let's fiddle with the sprinkler. Oh, no, I didn't want to rewind. Use. So the water will make them what jump the up. Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. No way! No <laughs> you okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Oh, don't be mean to Samuel. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Ha 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 ha. So she fucking right. Ha ha ha. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I want to make fun of her comfort. Oh, this is a decision. Oh, the urge to make fun of is very strong, but I should probably be the better person. She'll shrug it off, but... I'm gonna go for comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. No. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Aw, she didn't shrug it off. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Aw, see, right, that well. was nice. Even though she's still kind of a bitch, but you know, yeah. kill people with kindness. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. No, you shouldn't have. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Alright. No, I'm pleased with that choice. Like I said, you gotta be nice to people and hopefully they'll reciprocate. 
Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna end this part here before I... Oh, here they come with the towels. Hurry, Courtney. <laughs> run, ladies, I'm run. Pissed we took so long. Yep. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this part, part here before I... Because I'm sure there'll be a ton of stuff in my dorm room that I can fiddle with. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know I am so far. I like that there's no boys allowed sign on the wall. <laughs> But yeah, if you are enjoying this series, please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all of your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.